Hello everybody, this is Fernando for the latest Cryptids and Monsters Encounters video. I thought I would mix this scary skinwalker story here while I'm continuing to look at your ghost and spirit suggestions, mainly because I haven't done one of these in a while and there's still some fans out there when it comes to these particular encounters. So why not? I'm going to go ahead and just place another one here. Once again, coming from the reddit.com website, they're from the subreddit called Skinwalkers from a user called SilentPay9239. In their case, it has to do with a location that's the first time talked about here, Badlands National Park. Some of you may have gone to that park, some of you haven't. If you have, I'd love to hear what your thoughts and comments are on it on a local level too, because who knows, you may have a chance of actually coming across this type of encounter. So let's go ahead and let's share this one here. The user aptly titled theirs as Badlands National Park, once again signifying the location itself. So here's what they stated. I wouldn't have made this post, but I stumbled across this post here. They're referencing a South Dakota skinwalker tale. While doing research and figured I'd share my own experience since it matches eerily well. I recently moved to South Dakota for work, and last week my co-workers and I decided to drive down to Badlands National Park in an attempt to catch the Aurora Borealis. It didn't end up showing up, unfortunately. We arrived around 8 p.m. and then stayed until 1 a.m., so it was pitch black the entire time we were out there. Everything was fine until the four of us decided to take one of our cars to look at a herd of bison that usually hung out several miles down the road. We didn't end up finding any, save for a couple of stray bulls, but that's besides the point. We ended up turning around to rejoin the others, and on our way back, we saw something strange. Well, more accurately, everything else but me saw it. This is a recurring theme, and then part of the reason I hesitated to share this story. However, while I cannot back it up myself, Multiple people saw the same thing at different times without discussing it with each other, and their reactions seemed genuine. As we sped over a hill, the other three people in the car with me started freaking out. They started asking each other whether anyone else saw what they saw and verifying exactly what it was they spotted. They all agreed. It was a tall, pale, pink humanoid figure, and it had sprinted across the road right in front of us, almost too fast to see. I was skeptical, and if this had been the only sighting, would have honestly thought nothing of it. The others, though, were still a bit freaked out, at least for the rest of the drive. Once we rejoined the rest of our classmates, things seemed normal for about an hour. We were just hanging out, looking at the stars, and enjoying each other's company. However, a car drove down one of the roads near us, and the person next to me stared at the car and went, holy S, what's that? She kept her gaze on it and then relayed it to us afterward. Please note, we haven't talked about what we saw in the car once we arrived back at the campsite. She said she had seen that same figure sprinting across the street in front of the other car and had kept an eye on it on the dark. She also stated it had moved so fast they had traveled down that road in a mere few seconds. At this point, we were all thoroughly creeped out. The people who had been in that car with me relayed our story about the figure that ran in front of our car. They agreed that they'd seen the same being, and we all kept our eyes out for the rest of the time we were there. I do intend to head back there sometime, against my best instincts perhaps, to see if I can catch a glimpse of it myself, and I'll update this if I ever end up doing so. So the too long didn't read version is, on a trip with co-workers, they spotted a possible skinwalker that perfectly matches the previous description on that subreddit from 2019. Then that's it. That's everything that this user mentioned in their brief but very memorable encounter there in uh, Badlands National Park. So let's go ahead and let's talk about that here. First off, that location. Anyone else been there before? Anyone else um, have some experiences there? Maybe they went there like let's say on a family trip or maybe in this case like as business and so on. If so, let me know. Let me know if you've ever had any eerie sensations out there. Second thing I wanted to mention, I definitely can co-sign 
being out in the middle of nowhere in the middle of the night. I've been in some areas there in Nevada, way out there outside of Las Vegas, out there in the desert area. For all intents and purposes, it could have been another Badlands National Park because of the um, the the close perimeters to each other, like the parallels. But yeah, being out there in the middle of the night, it is truly pitch black. There are no lights. There's only the stars. And even then, they don't provide much refuge when it comes to having any any kinds of light. So I know exactly the eerie sensation that they're stating. So whenever they saw this thing, whatever it was, it was described again as a pale, tall, pink humanoid figure running at a really, really fast speed. That's also another first when it comes to this channel. Normally, we've talked about other skinwalker experiences where it's them catching up to cars and the cars are going at a very fast speed, I guess, like whatever the normal speed is associated with dirt roads. But at the same time, this, the, what the idea I got especially of how fast it went whenever that second encounter with it was where that person saw it cross the entire road in just a few seconds. Like in other words, from one point to another, like from closest in to the far off distance in just a few seconds, that gave me a notion of just how quick this thing was. Definitely something where it's almost like a blink and you miss, like almost like that road runner from the uh, cartoon series uh, from the Warner Brothers one where it's almost like a blink and you miss it type moment. That's scary when you think about it because this thing, whatever it was, could absolutely just come out of nowhere and you would have no chance whatsoever associated with it. But Badlands National Park, someone let me know too, is this like a reservation area? Is it a Native American location that has some... Uh, legends associated with the skinwalkers if so uh, please let me know i'll definitely be happy to, to have that information there too who knows maybe one of these days i'll be traveling out there and if so maybe spend the night out there it'll be a long shot but still maybe try to see if there's any kind of similar type of eerie experience all right everyone thanks again as always take care bye